Welcome to Grumblings of a Gaming Grignard. I'm Tom. I participate in a lot of forums on different apps. Several of the forums strictly focus on the interpretation of Dungeons & Dragons 5e rules as written, or raw. On some of them, there are dozens of postings daily, and some of the questions are incredibly esoteric. They are because the rules are complex, and I would argue adding more rules makes the game more complex. With that, a player reached out to me a while back. The player wanted to incorporate additional official, albeit optional, source material to our game. I explained that I'm generally loath to add additional material because I believe doing so adds complexity to an already complex game. The player then, flat out, told me the rules are not complex. He said he just understood the rules better than me. Oof. Okay, to the first part, I believe complexity is on a sliding scale and relative to one's perspective, so I'll give him that one. To the second part, Perhaps true, perhaps not. Either way, I felt it was an incredibly rude and an amazingly offensive thing to say. At that point, I bit my lip and stepped away from the conversation to cool off. There are players of games who love complex rule systems that periodically get updated with new rules to maintain the complexity. Among others, Magic the Gathering is in my humble opinion, one of these games. Many believe it's the world's most complicated game. From Technology Review to Forbes Magazine to Newsweek to PC Games Magazine, there are numerous articles claiming such. Agree or disagree, there are gobs of articles applauding its complexity. Yes, I said applauding. I said applauding because Magic the Gathering is also incredibly popular. By multiple accounts, at least 35 to 40 million people have played Magic the Gathering over its 30 plus year lifespan, making it the most popular trading card game in the world. Some articles confirming such include those in the Washington Post, Indoor Game Bunker, and others. So many gamers love Magic the Gathering, and they love its complexity. With that, please know that it's just not the game for me. I have nothing against Magic the Gathering or those who play it. It's, it's just too complex for my tiny brain. Either way, have no illusion. The owners of Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons Intellectual Properties, that is, Wizards of the Coast, and their parent company, Hasbro, are for-profit companies. That's not a bad thing. I love capitalism and the benefits it has brought me and my family. Okay, throw your darts. But it's necessary to keep this in perspective. While Hasbro doesn't share data regarding the performance of Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro is a publicly traded company, and Hasbro has had some tough years. So, adding material to Dungeons & Dragons, if it sells, adds to Wizards' proverbial bottom line, which adds to Hasbro's bottom line. So, Wizards will, as they have demonstrated with Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and & Dragons, continue to add material to their intellectual properties. Back to Dungeons and Dragons by itself. In the end, I do think the rules are complex. They're not too complex, but they are sufficiently complex enough to keep the game interesting. So my decision to not add rules has nothing to do with whether or not the additional rules are cool or not cool. I choose to not add to the existing complexity by choosing not to pile additional rules on top of already complex rules. However, that might be just me. I will end my diatribe there. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and roll a seven-sided die.